Right. So uh, today's agenda is going to be three points. Uh, first one, uh, I will tell, say, sorry, say a couple of words about the choice between the custom installation and the ready integrations you can use. Uh, so we have them prepared already. Uh, then I will show you an example of how you can embed your live chat code uh, into HTML template of your website. Uh, after all, uh, sorry, after these, uh, we'll go to setting up one of our integrations on the example of WordPress integration. After it, there will be a Q&A session in, in case you have any, and we'll basically get them covered. Okay, so uh, let's skip to the first point, the choice between custom installation and ready integrations. Now, uh, at Live Chats, uh, the basic way to install uh, our software on your website is to simply include our HTML uh, code in, uh, sorry, in our JavaScript in, into HTML of your website. Uh, however, because there are some uh, really popular uh, platforms, uh, CMS uh, software and such that many people are using, we also created some uh, ready plugins you can use. So uh, they basically make it easier for you to install live chat uh, on your website. Now let me just skip to the integration page. Uh, as you can see in here, uh, we have a couple of integrations uh, with various software. Now, not all of them are for installing live chat uh, window on the website. Some of them are, for instance, to send some uh, analytics over, but some of them are. And this uh, example I can mention is the CMS software like this here. Uh, as I mentioned before, we'll be covering the WordPress integration later on. So uh, if you are, your website is set up on WordPress, you can just wait for the second part of the webinar. Uh, and the second option for that would be uh, basically including our code into HTML uh, template of your website. Now, how to get to doing this? Uh, I recommend using some dedicated software like Moo Commander or, for instance, CyberDuck. Uh, I have a CyberDuck uh, using like, really like this program. Now, uh, this program will allow you to establish connection to your server where you can actually uh, edit the files that are uploaded there. So if, you're not, uh, if your server is not hosted locally, it's hosted somewhere else, that's how you can access it. Now, in case of, uh, in case of CyberDuck, you can uh, use it, do it the following way. First, open connection in here. And if you're using other software like Moo Commander or perhaps some other, uh, it will be probably very similar to this. So this instruction should be rather universal. Now, you need to choose a FTP kind of uh, protocol, file transfer protocol. And now, here is the place to enter your server's address. Uh, I have a server that's dedicated for this uh, webinar. So let me just log in there. Now, once you do all this, uh, simply click Connect, and this should bring you right to the server. Now, uh, oh, sorry, seems I made a mistake in here. I believe that this should work now. Let's give it a moment. All right, sorry for the prop troubles, guys. I can actually use uh, one of my uh, bookmarks I have in here set before. So uh, those credentials should be available at your provider. So uh, if you do not know these, simply ask your admin or web developer how to get these. In my case, I get a bookmark in here. Now, once you get to the directory of the page uh, wh where the files for the page are stored, you should be able to find an index.html file. Now, this page right now, it looks like this. Let me just show you. So it is a blank page, nothing in here, just some uh, exemplary uh, fields that any, any page could have. Uh, and now I want to install live chat uh, window in there. Now, as you can see, the uh, directory is set sales as the name of the webinar. Now, uh, in here, I can see the index.html file. Now, you can edit uh, HTML files with any kind of uh, text format uh, 
programs. Uh, in case of Windows, you can even use WordPad or Notepad. Uh, I will be using in here Notepad++. Uh, it's a free uh, software you can use uh, anytime and download as well. Uh, and basically, it's quite simple to use as well. But you can use Sublime Text, for instance, or WordPad, Notepad, and such. Depends on what's best for you. And when you like, right, right click on it, sorry, and click Edit, you will be brought to a view like this. Now, to, to find uh, the place where you need to put our code, it's recommended that you put it before closing of the body tag, right in here. Now, uh, this is because of most of the uh, templates uh, our clients are using and people on the internet are using, basically. Uh, they have the body tag included in most of the uh, pages of your website. So if you put it into body, you make sure that like that should basically should everywhere show, sorry, everywhere on the page. Uh, and so it's just best to put it after opening of the body tag in here and between, uh, sorry, behind, be, <laughs> sorry, before closing it. Now let me just show you where to get the code. Uh, after you have created a trial with us, uh, you can get these files, uh, sorry, this code from the uh, application of ours. So you can log at mylife.inc.com and either go to the reminder in here following the instructions, which will bring you straight to the place you're looking for. If you're not seeing this one, you can also go to settings and then simply installation. Now, this is the code that we'll be needing for installing our uh, chat on our page. Uh, as you can see, uh, this code uh, may look complicated, but it is really not. You do not have to change anything in it. For like to work, you can simply copy all of it. Uh, now, one more thing I'll be also mentioning later. In here, in this installation section, you can also find the license number of yours in this very place. Uh, this number may be needed in case of some plugins of ours, where you just simply need to provide your license number. So if you ever need to find that, you can find it in Settings, Installation, My Website tab. Now let me just copy that. Once I have it copied, go back to the uh, HTML file and paste it in here. As you can see, it also has this information that it starts right here, ends right here. It, will not change behavior of the code. It's just for you to have better option to find it later if, in case you need it. And now, once you made sure that all the code is correctly copied into HTML uh, of the website, just save the file and upload it later on. Now, the CyberDuck itself is uh, good in this aspect that if you edit the file from CyberDuck, with some program, program like in here. It will automatically download the file. You can then edit it, and then, we'll, uh, then it will upload it again. But if you do not have this program, you can, of course, download the HTML file from here, like just download it, edit it on your desktop, for instance, and then simply re-upload it again onto the website. Now, after I have done this, uh, my chat should basically appear on the uh, website of mine. So let's just see if it's really here. As you can see, right here on the right hand side, we have a small window chat now. So my chat is installed in here. I can use it already. And the last thing for me to, to start using live chat is simply being logged into my application and accepting chats. I can show you how this looks. Let's make a test. In the application, you'll be able to see that the chat is here. So if you're not sure if live chat is installed correctly, it's best to just do a test on your side. And if chat just came through, it means that the live chat is already installed. You can enjoy using it. OK, so that was the, the direct HTML way of uh, installing um, our chat on your page. Now, the second thing I mentioned would be installing it via WordPress integration. I have also WordPress in the sorry, page in here, just to show you an example. Uh, we have a bunch of integrations with really different platforms, such as Wix as well. Uh, but for sake of this webinar, I will be using WordPress. Now, all of them, uh, they have tutorials included. Uh, so if you do not know how to go about this, every integration of ours will have a tutorial you can view. 
and follow the instructions step by step. So that's really relatively, relatively simple, sorry. Now, uh, in case of WordPress site, you need to upload the plugin straight into files of the website. This will be the case in case of, sorry, this will be also the situation with some other uh, platforms and integrations we have. So you can remember the steps for sake of others integrations too. Now, uh, as you can see in the steps, first we need to go to the plugin page, which is on the WordPress site and simply download the plugin to your PC. Now, I have already done this. I have this file stored on my computer in here, in downloads. And this will be packed once you download it. So first you need to unzip it and WinRare or I believe most of the operating systems will be able to do this right now. So just unpack in here. Once you unpack it, go inside the folder, sorry, and further and there's also a readme file in case you need more instructions on this but for sake of WordPress you just need to get this folder uh, called WP live chat software for WordPress and this needs to be copied into the uh, WordPress directory on your server now I have also access to the WordPress uh, server on my site in here as you can see, uh, and if you have a WordPress uh, website, it will be also uh, shown in here uh, on the left hand side, all the plugins and all the uh, files. Now, if you want to upload a plugin to WordPress, you need to go to WP Content, Plugins, and that's the place where you need to place our folder. So we can either drag it straight into there or use upload function. I will do it. This way, simply drag it here. And now I have received information that the file has been uploaded in here. Right, so uh, after I have done this, in plugin section on my uh, of my website, sorry, uh, we'll be able to see uh, the plugin for uh, WordPress. Let me get to it again. Now I can see there was a question for Tom. Tom, I will answer your question in the Q&A session after it. So please bear with me, all right? Now, for the WordPress page uh, I mentioned before, an exemplary one, you simply need to log in into admin spanner. Most of the websites and plugins I have seen so far, they have it after a slash, but it may be a different case. So you need to see how it rolls. And now, of course, at this step, you need to log in using your admin credentials. Now, again, if you do not know your admin credentials on how to how to get to the insights of your website you need to contact your admin or web developer and they will be able to get this information for you now once i'm here i simply need to go to plugin sections i mentioned before and as you can see the live chat uh, is displayed in here now, before, because, sorry, because I have been installing live chats on this website before, there may be some old cached uh, settings in here. Let me just edit it. Oh, sorry, uh, the wrong section. Settings. Now, in here, you can choose whether you want to use an existing live chat account or you want to create one. If you want to create one, you can do it from this section in WordPress, so you do not have to do the sign up on our page. But if you already have it, choose the yes, I already have a live chat account. And now we need to put your live chat login in here. In my case, that's the one prepared specifically for this, for this webinar. I need to put in here, save changes. After I have done this, the whole, this, only the login will be enough for WordPress to complete the installation. Now, let me just get to the WordPress page, sorry. And let's refresh the page. Remember to always refresh the page because if you do not, the changes might not be there and you won't be able to see them. As, as you can see on the right hand side, uh, there is this chat now window again. If you're not sure if they work or not, just put test name in here, start the chat. And as you can see, it's right there. So basically that's how you can go about installing WordPress plugin. Now, those other, of course, those two examples are not covering most of the cases uh, you will be 
you will have to do if you have uh, different integrations, different setups, as there is a really bunch of different settings you can go through. So uh, if you're not sure how to do it anyway, or if you can't find a plugin or uh, integration for your page, you can always drop by the chat at livechatinc.com with our support team. We are available here 24 seven and we should be able to assist you with that. So share some tips on how to go about this. So this would be basically for the WordPress integration. Now let me take a look at the questions from you guys. Please allow me a moment. Okay, uh, now Tom, you have uh, mentioned, you, you have a question, how do we link a chat to an existing JPEG on our site? So I believe uh, to a graphic file. Actually, you can do this using uh, our button sections because we have a support for such a thing. So there are two ways to go about it. The first one would be to use our chat buttons that are dedicated for this. Uh, and you can also edit them in here in uh, our uh, chat buttons section under engagements. Uh, you can also uh, choose different layouts for these. Uh, either choose one of our galleries or upload your own image. And after you show that you want to use this one, click on install and you have this code in here. So you can simply copy it from here and paste it directly into uh, your website. So you can uh, do this like this. The other way would be using a on-click uh, option. And I do not have it at hand right now, but uh, I will get your email address and I will follow you up after the webinar with the instructions on how you can actually plug the chat into a file on your site, okay? So I will follow you up after this. Now, there's another question I have from Piot is, uh, if I'm agent of the license, can I access the code section? Now, to access the code section in here, you need to be either owner of the license or admin of the license. So you cannot do it as an agent. In this case, uh, I was the person who set up the account, so I had owner license. Uh, if I was only an agent, I would be only able to see agent tools section, no other. So if you're only seeing agent tools, it means that you're simply an agent uh, and you need to ask either your administrator or owner to do the uh, installation for you instead. Right, okay. Uh, let me just see it. One more question I have in here. Okay, question from Bob is, do you have a Wix uh, plugin? Yes, we do. Let me just show you where to find it. Mm -hmm. Just give me a sec. As you can see, it's in here. And that's also the whole tutorial for this section. So anytime you need to see how to go about this, simply go see tutorial and find the installation. Now you can also use our knowledge base to browse through the uh, installations and plugins and tips we have. So uh, all the stuff I, I'm saying in webinars and that was said in previous webinars as well, most of it is actually covered in our knowledge base. And let me just send th this one uh, out to you. So if you need it, you can simply copy it from here. There you go, guys. All right, and as far as I can see, there are no other specific questions for any specific integrations that we might have. So uh, I believe that would be everything for today. Uh, now, if you have more questions uh, after the webinar, you can either follow me, me up on the email uh, that's uh, under the webinar you have registered for, or you can simply drop by the chat with us uh, at our website, left.inc.com and we will be able to help you in there. All right, guys, so thank you a bunch. Remember, there's also a post-chat survey available after the webinar ends. So if you got some feedback to share, please do so. Okay, bye, guys.